here at the Global Game Jam hosted by the Information Systems Department. We have uh, 108 registered participants and it promises to be a very exciting event full of creativity and a lot of enthusiasm and uh, I'm so excited for our students as well as the St. Louis community. I'm going to school here at Amsel and I am an information systems major. I'm Alex Crossman, my age is seven and I'm here at the Global Game Jam. My name is Ilanka Dunnan, I'm a co-director of the Global Game Jam and I'm one of the organizers of the St. Louis Game Jam here in Missouri at UMSL campus. We have scores of people right now who all gathered to be part of this massive global event. And then try and interpose yourself in front of the heads of other snakes to get them to bite you and make you smaller. You have to like shoot at these dragons that shoot fireballs at you. And whenever, whenever you kill a bunch of them, then, then your meter goes up. But if you get hit by a dragon, then your meter goes down. Now, now you want to make your meter go all the way up and then you want to like hit yourself onto something. The goal is to create games in 48 hours. So everyone gathered on Friday and we told everyone a theme. It's the same theme that was announced to people around the world. There are over 10,000 people also creating games within 48 hours. Uh, New Zealand, I think, will be the first to, to run out of time. They started when a 5 p.m. hit in their time zone and they're working hard on it right now. Basically what we do is we're taking everything, we're making it all work together, we're putting all the logic in. It is completely different experience outside the classroom. So classroom and then this kind of real world experience within a timeline, it's a completely different uh, experience. We needed like an eating sound for the snake, eating another snake. So what I did, is actually, it was too long, so I just like cut one half off, and then now it was just like a chomp. You need to eat that snake, and then at the end of the game, it's only you. After the third level, there's the boss, the flying dragon, and he's huge. And he shoots like these green little acid balls at you. Honestly, this is an internship uh, in action. Um, every company that came here today that was represented as a, at a higher level, you know, companies that are making money, said, hey, here's our card, come intern with us. And they want to see more of that. The game's a tower defense type game, uh, only instead of, like most tower defense games, where the goal is to just kill all of the enemies, uh, the goal here is to actually try to keep some of them alive. And that your towers, as opposed to just being always your towers, eventually your towers degrade into becoming more enemies that you need to fight off. But if you ever run out of all of your towers or all of the enemies, you've broken the cycle and your game ends. So the goal is to play a juggling act of having enough towers that you're surviving but not killing all of the creeps. So uh, it's a, an interesting take on standard tower defense games. This event surpassed my expectations. We had more participants than we expected, over a hundred. Several of our students participated in creating games and it was a great learning opportunity for them to meet with folks and put into practice the skills that they had acquired here. This community, this area has uh, really upped the ante. Uh, people have learned so much about, uh, uh, well, I'm excited because I learned some new things and things I want to try next year. Um, the students that I've met here, the professionals I've met here, everybody's been working together and it also has been great. This has been a great experience. Games meet new people, brainstorming, uh, doing the actual um, game work on it. It's revitalizing my spirit to come back and hang out and, and interact. So thank you very much.